Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Filler Fishing Channel. How are you guys doing today, huh? I figure it is being, it has been quite a while since I brought you guys a Tackle Talk video here on the YouTube channel, right? And in this video, let me tell you something, man. I have so many things to show you guys, ladies and gentlemen, including two of my newest reels that I'm going to be using for the year of 2019, right? On the value of $270 and another one on the value of 175 bucks. So anyways, right, before I show you everything that I have to show you in this video, including the two reels and the full repertoire in front of me right here, you guys can kind of only see a portion of it right now, right? Uh, let me just emphasize that this is the time of the year, uh, February to March, right, when I go out there, and I really stock up on a lot of the things that I, that I need for the upcoming season, right? Some of the tackle that I need for upcoming videos or some lures that will give me ideas for new videos on the channel, right? And of course, rails and rods and other stuff that I'm going to be using in the upcoming season. So, you know, let's get started with the rails for today. Um, I just want you guys to have an idea via this video, right? what is coming up on the channel this year, or at least in the few upcoming months, right? Let's get started with the reels because I'm, a, I'm pretty excited about, about the reels, okay? So, you remember when I talked to you guys last November, I posted a video on the YouTube channel, right? If you haven't checked it out, I'm gonna link it in the cards. I told you guys that I dropped all my sponsorships, which is true, I am non-sponsored at the moment. And at that time, I emphasized that one of the pros in dropping the sponsorships was so that I could go out there in the market, buy different products from different brands, and test it out, right? Kind of broaden my horizons. Well, it took me a few months, but it finally happened. Check this baby out, okay? This is one of my new reels for 2019. It is a beautiful reel, okay? It is uh, Shimano... I don't even know how you pronounce the name of this model. I, I'm assuming it is a Shimano Tunus CI4, all right? Check it out, man. This is, this is a beautiful reel right here. I know that the GoPro doesn't really do justice, you know, when it comes to, right, uh, focusing on the product. This is a $270 reel, okay, folks? This is going to be my new bait runner for the year of 2019, as you guys can see, right? As any bait runner would have, it's got a top drag, and it's got a bottom drag. I just want you guys to hear, okay? Check this out, the, the bottom drag. Just the command, all right? Top drag, and just check it out, the sound on the drag. Ooh, ain't that sexy, huh? Not to mention that this thing shines, blow, bling, bling. No, I'm just messy, okay? But. This is going to be my new bait runner, right? And it is really going to substitute, right, the bait runners that I was using on the channel before. For example, this is my Cast King Pontus that I used to use on the channel last year. And just in comparison, right? I mean, I mean I'm not even going to compare sizes. This is quality right here. But I just want to show you, right? Just notice the difference in sizes from a Pontus and the Shimano Tunus, uh, Tunus right? And then there was also the Sharky 3 bait runner that I'm going to be changing for this one right here. So next week I got a trip down to Florida. I'm going to be taking this baby down there. We're going to do some testing. I'm going to use it in the salt. This is a salt water approved bait runner. They say it is sealed. Shimano say so. It's got a four year. I paid for a four years uh, warranty kind of thing, right? So we will put it to the test, okay? One of the new toys for this year. Like I said, we are branching out, right? Another thing that I want to show you guys before I show you all the tackle in front here is my other reel that I bought recently. It is a pan, okay? I know that a lot of you guys are big fans of the pan reel, right? I mean, just look by looking at it, right? And the colors, the black and the gold, you guys probably know already. This is the Pan Slammer 3, right? This is going to be my new salt water reel, okay? Check that out. All right, this is the Pan's Lammer 3. It cost me 175 bucks. It was on sale when I bought it. It usually runs for, I think, $230, right? And this is going to be my reel this year when I go down to the Jersey Shore, for, for example, for the Bluefish, the Pomatomo Salta Tricks, right? 
or when I go for the striped bass, the Moroni saxatiles, summer fishing, I gotta go for some summer flounder, the Paralictis dentatus, we gotta be using this reel, okay? Hopefully, hopefully, this IPX6 sealed reel is also going to be the reel that is going to catch my first ever northern stargazer this year, okay? So save it for later, folks, but I got a lot of goals for this reel this year, catch a bunch of saltwater species, right? And this is really going to uh, be my new reel in comparison to the old Casking Sharky 3, right? They are actually quite similar in sizes. This one's a little bit bigger and heavier, but they say that the quality on this reel is really, really good, okay? I would like to point out, right, that I, just as I have objectives for this reel, like catching different saltwater species of fish, I also have a few objectives for this reel right here that I showed you guys previously. I mean, I want to catch a carp this year, a common carp, the Cyprinus carpio, that is at least 20 pounds on this reel, right? Just to kind of show me the raw power of the bait runner, you know? I want to catch a flathead catfish that is at least 30 pounds. My PB flathead catfish is 33 pounds, I believe. So, you know, I want to catch a 30 pounder plus on this as well, right? Just to show you guys that, you know, this can really handle it. I'm gonna pair it up with a real good rod in the near future, okay? Save. You know, keep in mind what I'm what I'm saying right now, okay? Because later in this year, when I catch those species, I'm gonna link back to this video, okay? Uh, okay, now that we went through the rails, I'm just gonna show you guys a little of the repertoire that is in front of me. All the things that I bought recently from Walmart, Dick's Sporting Goods, local tackle shops, right? On sale, not on sale, so that you guys have an idea of what is coming up on the YouTube channel, okay? I am going to be very quick with all these products because otherwise this video would be like 30 minutes long and we are already seven minutes in, right? This is really just an introductory video for the upcoming videos, right, on the YouTube channel. So, okay, let's start from over here. Uh, recently, I got some four pounds Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon. If you guys watch the YouTube channel, right, you guys know that a fluorocarbon is my line of preference for multi-species fishing. I've been using the Casking Fluorocoat. I have decided to go back to the Berkeley Vanish, okay? Uh, not that the Casking Fluorocoat is not good, but it has been so long since I, have been since I have used the Berkeley Vanish, I don't know how it feels anymore. So I want to get a feel for it and see which one I want to stick with. You see what I'm saying? So there you have it. I recently got one of these. A lot of subscribers were actually telling me, Leo, you should get one of these, right? I got it for 20% off, so the original price for this was like six bucks. I pay like 420, something like that. Not cheap, all right? This is the two pound test trout magnet phantom line that I'm going to put on one of my Shimano Sedona's 500 for ultralight fishing. When the trout fishing, uh, fishing comes over, right? I'm gonna be catching all those rainbow trout the Oncorincus micis and all those brown trout, the Salmotruta, and who knows, maybe even some brook trout, the Salvelinus fontinalis, right? All, all on this line right here. Not to mention, you know, that, that of course, right, I'm going to go out there for some panfish as well, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I have a little vintage lure series coming up on the channel as well. So recently I bought some of these Excalibur jerk baits okay they are like 1980 lures guys i don't even know exactly what year this was made uh but, you know back here it says this is 1996 excalibur all right i have never used this jerk bait before there's someone here called mark so susa so soon mark something i don't even know who this dude is maybe he was a Nice bass angler back in the days, you know, I'm gonna run those lures on one of the videos, right? For the vintage series. I also got these vintage lures right here that are pretty cool. They're called the Zara Gosas. <laughs> it's a very interesting concept. It is a double jointed lure that resembles a double jointed Rapala, but it's like, I don't know, it's just weird. I never heard, I heard of course of the Zara Spook. I've used them before, right? The Chug and Plug. I never heard of the Zaragoza before, right? So since this is an old-ass lure, some people have told me that they work 
some people told me they don't, right? We're gonna test it out on the channel and see if we can actually catch any fish on this, right? And by the way, if you guys have used any of these crazy lures that I've been showing you on the YouTube channel, feel free to comment below and let me know if it worked or not, you know? I'm gonna test it anyways, but any feedback is always welcome, all right? There's this one that I'm going to try too, part of the vintage series, okay? This is called the Man's Shallow Diver. It is the weirdest thing that I have seen in a while. It is a lure that resembles an eye crawler. I mean, you know, it is like getting an eye crawler and turning it into a hard bait, okay? I don't even know how this thing swims in the water. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but hey, all I have to say is we're going to make a video, we're going to test it out, right? Uh, next week, I'm going down to Florida. So recently I went to the tackle shop and I bought some of the stuff that I'm going to be using in my upcoming Florida trip. I got right in front of me here, gazillions of marathon sabiki rigs. As you folks may or may not be aware, here on this YouTube channel, Extreme Fillet Fishing really loves to do multi-species fishing to catch new species of fish for my life list, right? And sabiki rigs. You guys keep asking me, right, Leo? What is a rig in the salt in the salt water that works really well, right? Sabiki rig is a rig that really kills it, okay? You can tip it with squid, you can tip it with shrimp. All you have to do, of course, is check the rules and regulations on the stage where you were fishing just to make sure that you can use six hooks in one line, right? If not, you can really just cut the sabiki, right? And just keep it three hooks, two hooks, and put a sinker below. But it is a rig out there that really will catch you like a huge range of species. So I bought tons of this for my upcoming Florida trip, and I really hope I catch some fish on them. I also bought this Berkeley Power Bait. I think this is a three inch, three inch Pro Series Twitch tail. I've never used this before. So, you know, I thought, why not give it a try, right? I do like the power bait, the Berkeley power bait series baits that are coming scented and they say that the fish hold on to them longer, right? Which actually I have used their chigger cross before that is smells kind of shrimpish and that they work real good. So I bought a pack of these. I also bought this. I, I don't even have to say anything here on the channel, right? I bought the good old gulp minnow three inches that i'm going to put on, on some jigs these jigs right here as a matter of fact right i bought some crappy magnet jigs right that i have already done a review on the youtube channel together with a crappy magnet trailer right so if you haven't watched that video yet i'm taking this with me next week down to florida i'm gonna link in the card you can go check it out right uh, fluke season coming up this summer i bought a bunch of gulp alive mullets okay this is like my killer thing to go for the salt water not just for flounder man i mean i've caught so many different species of fish on these things right here it is crazy and i really i'm really planning on catching my first ever stargazer this year on one of these two right so i buy the three inches which is the smaller one so that i can catch different species of fish if you go down to the shore and you just want to do a high low rig for fluke fishing with a sinker on the bottom, right? You can buy the four inches, the five inches, so that you can kind of, you know, not catch the smaller ones, right? And hook the bigger ones with bigger hooks because, you know, you probably want that keeper, right? To take it home and eat it. But for me, it's like, I don't really mind if suddenly a window pane flounder show, shows up. You see what I'm saying? I don't really mind if a Northern Stargazer suddenly shows up, right? So I, I'm like that kind of person. I, I've caught plenty of black sea bass too, the Centro Priestess Estriata on the stuff, right? So I ended up buying a whole jar in the pack so I have plenty of the liquid and plenty of the trailers, right? Uh, I bought some of the basic, oh, before I go to that, my last salt water thing that I bought right here, recommendation of my friend, Simplex Fishing, right? This is a Tactical Angler's Bomb Popper. I've never used it before, but Simplex Fishing told me, you know, you should get one, Leo, because when the striped bass season comes up, right, and you pop this thing here, you pop, 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 they're gonna inhale it, right? So I'm gonna give it a try in the salt too, and maybe do a little review on this lure, since my popping skills are like subpar, you know, way down there. We will see how that goes, okay? Now, when it comes to basic tackle, I bought some stuff from Walmart recently, okay? This is really self-explanatory. I don't need to tell you guys because you guys see this on the channel all the time, right? Weighted floats 
from Como, Taco, nothing fancy. I buy the one dollar ones at Walmart. One pack, one dollar. Solves all my problems, okay? When I wanna do that suspended jigging, right? Especially with the Gulp Alive one inch minnow, which is one of my favorite trailers for micro fishing and multi-species fishing, right? Little suspended jig, maybe instead of a crappie magnet jig, you wanna use a 164 ounce trout magnet jig. You got the setup all good. If you don't wanna use floats, maybe you want to use a split shots, right? This is $1 a pack at Walmart. Now you kinda of understand why realistic fishing, Alex Ingram likes Walmart, right? This is $1 a pack. I mean, I can use it for a good while, right? Just one hook, one split shot, I can go for whatever I want, right? I can put a piece of night crawler on the hook and just cast it out there with a split shot. If I am going for the stock trout, well, I just bought I just bought power bait, right? Fresh power bait for the stock trout. I like the orange color. I, I bought the salmon flavor ones because I think this work real good and they have worked real good for my area, right? So in terms of basic gear, there you have it. Recently, of course, I also stocked up on my, I promise you guys, this video is almost over, okay? I know that some of you guys are not into the technical stuff, you know, bear with me, right? If you are though, this is really all good information if you want to go around targeting different species of fish, right, for the upcoming season. Anyways, I also bought a few Thomas EP series inline spinners. You folks know, right? The only two spinners that I use on this YouTube channel is really my Johnson, meaning the Johnson Minnow Spin, that I already, I already have gazillions of it. And then you have the Thomas EP series inline spinners, right? Which is what I'm holding in my hands. This is one sixth of an ounce and one eighth of an ounce nickel gold, right? This is for the upcoming trout series uh, season. I got a few things for the upcoming bass season. I already have so many bass things here in this household that I don't really need to buy a lot of extra every, every year when the season comes. But of course, right, there are those lures that every year, for some reason, I just lose all the time. Maybe get it snagged or get it on a tree. So every year I need to buy some. And this is the striking spinner baits, okay? I don't know why. I always lose all my blade spinners. For some reason, every year they just disappear. So this year I bought four more of them, two different sizes, a Strike King, okay? I like to run them along walls, right? Or sometimes even go to a lake and just cast it in the open. You never know when a large mouth bass is going to hit it, right? I'll never forget one time when I was running one of these at the FDR Park in Philadelphia, all right? And that was one of the first ever largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides, that I ever caught. It was one, one of these uh, at the FDR Park, right? Two and a half pounds. I was so happy. That was like back in 2011, you know what I'm saying? I also bought two striking uh, Bitsy Bug jigs okay they are kind of micro jigs right that i gotta probably gotta put like a crawfish <coughs> excuse me trailer and just cast it out there and you know do the regular bass jigging that all bass anglers do right and uh hopefully catch some stuff on it and finally the last thing that i have in front of me that i have to go through you guys is this very interesting line that was on sale at walmart for 350 for 150 yards, okay? It's called the Gliss from the WFT brand. I kid you not, the first time I saw this brand at Walmart, I thought it said WTF, you know? And I was like, what the? But, but no, it's WFT, okay? I don't know exactly what it stands for. I think it is a German brand. Go figure, right? I got two of them in 18 pounds and I got four of them in 12 pounds. I have got very mixed reviews since posting this stuff on Instagram. Some people tell me that it is really good, it really increases your castability, you know, but uh, some other people say that it is so thin that when this thing gets frayed, right, sometimes you cast a $15 lure out there and guess what, the thing just pops, right? If you touch a little rock, maybe this line just frays and it's like game over. So I'm going to bring you guys a review video sooner or later on the Gliss line and let you know if it is really worth it to use it in terms of castability, okay? Versus, of course, durability and price value. Folks, 
I think I went through everything that I had to go through this video. Uh, like I said, this is really just for you guys to have an idea of what is coming up on the YouTube channel, right? Bass season, trout season, pan fishing, micro fishing, salt water, right? Once again, two new reels, right? My saltwater reel for 2019, my new bait runner for 2019, each one of them with objectives that I want to accomplish this year, right? A few uh, review videos on the channel, vintage lure videos. And you know what, folks? If you have tagged along so this far in the video, and you actually have ideas to give me for videos that you want to see here on the YouTube channel, just please, not dumb challenges, right? Comment below and I will read the comments. And if it is a good idea, I will take it into consideration, okay? There are, of course, a few challenges that I got planned for this year already, not involving this gear, subscriber lure challenges, right? I got that planned already. There's a pink challenge, new, all pink challenge, rod, real line coming up on the channel later this year, right? There, you know, there, there's some fun stuff coming up. I just want you all to let, uh, to let you all know, not to mention multiple trips for exploration and the species hunt, right? For those who enjoy the life listing, fish ID components of the channel. This year, 2019, I am going to be working really hard on this channel, uh, not just in terms of all this tackle, right? I'm going to be mixing a lot of stuff in this channel for the folks who really like to enjoy, for example, uh, trophy fish. Sure, I'll try to catch some fish that are bigger, okay, just to show you guys that I can do it and it is possible, okay? Even though I do enjoy doing it. For the folks who like life listening, I'm going to go out there on the trips, exploring, and showing you guys all the different species that I catch, identifying, etc. right? Not to mention, of course, that as always, right? I'll try my best to always convey to you guys my passion for the sport and uh, make all the videos while emphasizing all together uh, on environmental conservation, aquatic sustainability, right? and just uh, good manner and etiquette and other things when it comes to our sport, okay? So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a good idea now of what is coming up on the channel sooner or later. Like I said, next week I'm going down to Florida with my wife. So expect some Florida videos to drop on the channel soon. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for all the love and support. All right, guys? I'll see you all next time. And hopefully next time I am going to be fishing in the video. Tie lines. And take it easy.